Gary, not quite the history we hope to make tonight, but you must be immensely proud of your side. Yeah, it was a brilliant performance, loads of effort, loads of endeavour. Uh, we got asked serious questions as a football team tonight against a, what I think is a top side, a potential Premier League side next season. Uh, and it wasn't for a want of trying that we went out the cup. So all credit to the players, they gave absolutely everything. I think we got beat by the better team tonight. And you sometimes have to hold your hands up to that and uh, good luck to Middlesbrough in the next round. It certainly was a proper cup tie, everything from the goals down to the weather and, and a sellout crowd as well. Yeah, brilliant atmosphere in the stadium right from kick-off. The, you know, the presentation they put on to, to show this club in a great light was amazing. And the players, I think, took that on board. We, we had a clear game plan. I didn't think we could go full press with the squad we have at the moment and the lack of finishers we had in, on the bench. Uh, so we sat off a little bit and tried to contain them in a the mid-block and I thought we did really well with that, I think. They had, you know, half chances and shots from distance first half. I felt in control. We scored a brilliant goal uh, and the, the message was second half to, to try and do more of the same but try and keep the ball in play uh, higher up the pitch uh, to, to cause them more problems and poor start to the second half but great reaction, came back in the game, got opportunities, Trev scores another amazing goal and at that point I thought it was, you know, it was game on, it was a proper cup tie and a soft penalty decides it. Murmurs, you, you could hear people talking before the game and a lot of them said don't concede early, don't concede early. So to go one nil up inside 12 and a half minutes with a goal like that, were you, were you daring to dream a little bit? Yeah, I think we knew how difficult the, the task was going to be tonight. You know, I, I said before the game, you know, I think they're a top squad and, and they showed that tonight. They made a lot of changes and still had a quality, a, a speed, a technical ability in the final third. Their first two goals were outstanding quality as well, although we feel we can defend them better and, and need to try and be better in those situations but uh, like I said we got beat by a better team tonight it wasn't like we you know were, were better in certain areas they, they controlled the game we tried to, to have a game plan that would see us win uh, and, and nearly came off. Something we've spoken about a few times in the last few days was that the players were lacking confidence before Lincoln perhaps there was, wasn't as much belief there at no point today did it not feel like, like those players didn't believe that we could get something today? Yeah, we, we had to change, you know, slightly how we play. We, we, ha we can't be naive and just set up how we set up in a League One game against a team of that quality. And, and like I said, that speed and technical quality in the final third. We tried to go back four out of position so we could get a bit more pressure on the ball higher up. They play with a three and a, a ten in behind, which Katie dealt with very well. Uh, so, yeah, I thought... You know, the game plan was working. We were obviously not getting a lot of possession, but we frustrated them. They didn't create a lot of opportunities. And second half, we started a little bit sloppy in position and we got pinned a little bit more as a back five. And, and that led to, like I said, two wonderful goals. But the second one in particular, uh, we don't want them coming inside the pitch to, to open that angle up for, for players that are of that quality. Ryan will, will naturally be disappointed that he was the one to give away the penalty. But, I mean, as we've spoke about those goals, what a wonderful player. He's a sensational player. Uh, he's, he's been amazing since he came to the club. Uh, he's a box-to-box -box midfielder who's going to score a lot of goals in his career. He doesn't just score goals, he does the ugly side of the game. He can build as well. So he's a, he's a fantastic talent, an absolute joy to work with. Perhaps, aside from losing a negative of tonight, is, is we saw Dimitri Mitchell on the touchline uh, in crutches. What, what's the outcome early stages, do you know? I'm not sure, to be honest. I've not spoke to him or Michael yet. Uh, so, fingers crossed, it's, it's not another you know, bad luck. It's another contact injury. Uh, and these, these killers, uh, there's nothing we can do. We can't control those situations. So, uh, fingers crossed, he's, he's better uh, tomorrow and, and it's not too bad. We saw Jack Fitzwater pick up a hefty knock as well. Came off shortly after. It, was there anything in that? Contact again. So, uh, we'll assess it in the morning and see how he is. Does it just a sense of frustration that as soon as we seem to get players back, you, you lose another two or three? <laughs> yeah, you've seen the bench tonight, how, how light it was. You know, we lost four players from Saturday, one suspension, three way, with injuries, which, you know, four big players for us. So that was a disappointment, but all credit to the players who were on the pitch. I thought they gave absolutely everything and uh, made it a really good cup tie. Despite that and, and, and despite defeat, this today and, and, and again Saturday, does it feel perhaps like a turning point that we've been hoping for over the last few weeks? 
Yeah, we've got to take belief from it. We pay, play the top side. We're not going to come against you know, any side in our league with that sort of quality, that sort of speed. Uh, so we have to take credit from that. I think we have to learn lessons as well and uh, you know, learn that when you give top players opportunities like we did, then, then they're going to hurt you. So the things we can take for the game and improve, but the players can be really proud of what they did tonight. Well, Carwell Cup probably may have come to an end, but should, should we start another one on Saturday in the FA Cup? Yeah, I just said that to the players. Recover, uh, eat right, rest and, and be ready for Saturday. We want to try and go on another cup run and, and see where we can get in that competition as well. Thanks a lot, Gary.